Kenya's territorial waters extend 370.4 kilometers, spread along a 600-kilometer coastline. Keeping an eye on this water and knowing everything that happens within it is one of the greatest challenges that the country faces, mostly because patrolling the water is expensive and requires equipment that Kenya doesn't have. But the State Department of Fisheries says that finally, change is here. The things we've done through this project is to establish a monitoring control center and a vessel monitoring system, which is so robust that in the next few months, any vessel entering into our waters, whether it has got transponders or not, it is going to be detected by us. The lack of monitoring systems has left Kenya exposed to illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, whose resultant lost revenue is estimated to be 10 billion shillings annually. This patrol vessel is expected in the country in January next year, coming at a time when the world is adopting the port state measures. The international conventions require us that any vessel fishing within our waters land the fish in our boats. And in that way, we get revenues and we also share information in terms of technology and things like that. The State Department of Fisheries and the Blue Economy prepared a fisheries bill that sets a 50 million shilling fine for vessels caught illegally fishing in Kenyan waters. The proposed law is before the president, awaiting his signature. Zainab Wandati, NTV.